Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I'm here with Wolf Krosky. Um, he's a, uh, uh, a realtor. And I, I just like to eat, honestly. <laughs> and uh, Mary posted a picture of the dish we're gonna be making today. And I selfishly said, I wanna learn how to make that. Well, so we're here making it. He's also the CEO of the Pittsburgh Chamber of Commerce. Um, so we are, we're gonna make stuffed artichokes. The first thing we're going to talk about today with the artichokes is how to choose an artichoke. And these artichokes are beautiful. They came from Dabby Produce out of Martinez. Um, beautiful artichokes. Big, huge, um, fairly tight. Um, the artichoke season that we're, that we're in currently it has passed. We're doing this in late spring, almost summer. And um, it's better to, your artichokes are better if you get them um, in February or March. So, but these are great. These are beautiful. Um, so what does a, a not good artichoke look like? Because like for me, I grew up, we only, you boil them, you dip the leaves in mayonnaise, and that's how we ate artichokes. Yeah, it's not good. That's not, not good. Not so good. What, is, what does a bad artichoke so look a like? A bad artichoke would have uh, the leaves really opened up a lot, okay? They would be open. This one is a little bit, you know, a little bit older. This one is nice, it's nice and tight, so is this one, you know, but that, it's the season. So we're gonna try to clean the artichokes. Okay. And I'm gonna move over a little bit so that you can take this big one and you can practice on the big one. Nice. Okay, so I don't know how you did it when you were a kid. My mom did but, it. Ah, your mom did it, okay. So you're gonna pull off some of the leaves on the bottom and you're gonna not just pick them off, you're gonna to try to pull it off so that the meat, and you know when you get an artichoke leaf, mm -hmm. let me pull one off here so that you could actually see it. Usually the meat is right here. The rest of the artichoke leaf has nothing. It's just one bite right here. So you wanna leave that one bite on the artichoke and not pull that off. So you kind of want to do this to it. Okay. I don't know if everybody can see it. So right right when you're hitting that meat part, just kind of snap it, it over. Bend it back, bend okay. it back, bend it back. And you're only going to do this to the leaves that look bad on the bottom. Okay, you don't want to take it all off. Now this looks pretty good. This, this one here has got a little bit of a bruise on it, but I'm going to show you how we're going to take care of that. We don't want to waste it. We don't want to waste anything. Artichokes are fairly expensive, so you don't want to do that. So we're going to peel the stem, and I'm going to hand you the peeler in a second. Don't uh, overdo it. I'm don't not. overdo it. So peel the stem going one direction, and then peel it up going the top direction. Okay. Are you watching? I am watching. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so this is pretty much okay. Now you just need to peel the stem. Yeah, set it down on the board, it'll be a little bit easier. Oh, so your, rule, your kitchen has safety rules, huh? Well, it just makes it easier. I find it's easier. And usually just go, you know, once around and you're good. Then this one, you're gonna go up this way. You weren't paying attention. Uh -huh. So you're gonna get some of that woodiness off of the top just by going around. It only takes a second, okay? Just a second, okay? So that's pretty much done. Um, and I'm going to critique your leaves here. I would take off a few more. This artichoke is enormous, so... Now we're doing, taking more off because these ones are woody? Yeah, you know, it just seems right to me. You know, you want it a little bit. So what, what are we looking for? So, because you're, you're looking for your a nice, experience fresh... experience and you say right, and I, have I right. Know. it looks good to me. A right, fresh edge. See how these leaves here just look fresher? They're green and they're a little bit, look tender on that mm -hmm. bottom part. Okay. So that's what you really want. And then you just grab the artichoke and go around the bottom and there's maybe two or three rows. You're not gonna have to do the whole thing. There's maybe two or three rows and you just clip it so that the, the top leaf of the artichoke has a thorn on it. So you don't want that thorn. So you just kind of go around and clip it a little bit. And you don't have to do the whole thing. This one looks like I'm doing it, but you don't have to. Because you're going to come over here and whack off the top. Okay, so you're going to cut the top off. So where I cut, 
is really where I ended. So where did you learn all this? Well, I was going to tell you that. Um, my grandparents used to make artichokes all the time. Nice. And um, when I first uh, married my husband, okay, that's good. Oh, okay, you got a couple more. Like all right. Couple more there for a haircut. So you okay. first married your husband. When I first married my husband, my mother-in-law was a great cook. I'm just taking off a little bit of the stem here. And I'm going to cut off the top. And she was a great cook. I, I have to say that. She did very simple recipes, but they were great. Of course, she worked really hard at it. Some of her recipes were hard, you know, a little bit harder. And, and I'll tell you about, about this one. Um, my mother-in-law and my grandparents would take the choke out. They'd mm -hmm. get a spoon, yeah. and go in there and forget it. Mary's not going to do it. it. It's way too much work and really not, I don't believe, necessary. So I'm not going to do that. So now here's our topped off artichoke while we're mom. talking. Yeah, she passed away a while mm -hmm. ago. She was like 93, so, but she was a great cook. So I learned most of uh, my Italian recipes. Um, a good portion of them were improved by the things that she made. Okay. So, okay, so here's the artichoke. So I don't really want to take off the whole stem, but I'm going to take off part of it. So it's a little bit shorter. And I'm not throwing this stem away. Okay, and here I have a bowl of uh, water with lemon in it. See it? It's filled with and lemon. And I'm putting the I'm putting the uh, artichoke in there. Your okay. phone is getting wet here. Okay. Okay. So the minute you start playing with the artichoke like that, here's another one. You get to do this one too. We're going to make four artichokes here today. So like I said, my mother-in-law was really a, a great cook. She um, she helped me to improve a lot of my cooking habits, but I had uh, two grandmothers and a grandfather who were terrific cooks also. And they, they started teaching me when I was 11. So uh, I've been at it a long time. And it's just something that I really like to do. Uh, even when I worked full time, uh, cooking was uh, a major, uh, major thing for me. I just like it. And I had some really good mentors when I was a kid. I had a friend named Judy who started and really got me really interested. You know, I remember those chiffon pies she used to make with her grandmother. And um, I was very impressed. Extremely impressed. You did that one already? Yeah. Good job. Okay. Good. Yes. Good. Well, before I cut them, I would I would go back and look at the leaves here. You need to take off a few more because they're not so not so fresh. It doesn't look looks kind of beat up. Okay. Okay, one more. Okay, now you got it. All right. You just want it to look um, fairly fresh, and it only takes a couple minutes. We're not taking the choke out, so that's saving us a lot of time. I don't think it's necessary. You know, it seems to work fine, just like this. Now this is a fresh artichoke. It's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty tight. tight. Yep. Yeah, I can see the difference now. Yeah. And like I said, these come from Dabby Produce, and they're excellent. Excellent. And he delivers to your house. Delivers right? to your house. Nice. Or has pick up pick up spots um, in uh, our community. And he's on uh, Facebook. And he has a website. Nice. So it's good. Okay, so now you're going to top it off. Okay. Well. Pretty good. Alright. Okay, so now you're going to trim the stem. Take off that little dark part because it's been cut a while. And then, you know, leave about an inch of a stem, half an inch, inch. Cut the other piece um, in half, and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. It all goes in the water. It all goes in the lemon water because um, the artichoke will change color. It gets a little wilted. Like. And I noticed this water is warm. 
if it's not ice well, water. Well, it probably should have been cold, okay. but it's warm, yeah. Okay. Okay. So here we are. And while we've been doing this, um, sometimes your fingernails get brown or, you know, sometimes I do a lot of them and my hands turn brown. So I always have some lemon there um, that I can um, put over my hands to get the to get the um, discoloration off. And the artichokes just kind of get, I don't know, a little bit, you know, room temperature, and then they, and when you cut them, they turn a little bit brown on the edges, so we don't want that. And the lemon will help preserve that. Yes. Okay. Okay, so here's the lemon in case we need it. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff the artichoke. And we talked, um, I did, uh, a, I put a post on Facebook about the filling for the artichoke. And the filling for the artichoke is very simple. It's breadcrumbs, um, uh, cheese, a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic. I saute all of that and um, put it in the food processor and then add it to the breadcrumbs. But you can have, you know, some people put raisins, some people put Raisins. walnuts. Yeah, people do all kinds of things. Uh, a green onion, so it's really for your taste. However you, whatever taste, however your, your taste buds are. You know, if you want a little more of this or that, go ahead. Uh, I don't use any Italian seasoning in anything that I cook. I don't, I don't like Italian seasoning. Um, to me, oregano is uh, uh, very, very sparingly and not in very many recipes for me. I don't use oregano. What about basil? Um, I, I use a lot of basil. So I have these uh, breadcrumbs already made in the freezer. I, I store them in the freezer. So I took two cups out and I put, put it in this bowl. And here's a little bit more cheese because I'd like these artichokes to be a little cheesier than normal. And there was already cheese in the breadcrumbs. Can't go onions wrong with and cheese. cheese. So I thought, okay, let's put a little bit more. And this is just grated uh, Parmesan. I have a, a little trick that I like. I, um, I buy the Parmesan already grated, okay, because I don't want this to be a big process, I want it to be fast. Mm -hmm. So I buy it already grated at the grocery store, and I add a little bit of Kraft cheese that comes in that container, you know, and it's already grated, but it's... You mean the stuff us non-Italians use on our spaghetti? Yeah. You <laughs> use that? I use that, I like it. Wow, I okay. like it a lot. I, all this time, I didn't realize I was authentic. <laughs> you, for me, you are. <laughs> okay, so now... Now, do you do that because it doesn't cake up? No, I do it because I like the taste. Okay. It's a little bit stronger flavoring. Yeah. I, I don't know what kind of Parmesan cheese it is, but it's really good. I like it. Okay, so let's get a paper towel first. Okay, so we're going to take this out of the water, kind of squeeze it. And because we're, we're doing this on camera, nothing turns brown. <laughs> but beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Magic so, sauce in the water. So let's dry it a little bit. Okay, and usually you have smaller artichokes. And when they're smaller and you bread them, you stuff them, they grow in size. But now these are bigger, so we're going to put a little bit less stuff in, in the bigger ones. We don't want... We don't want it to be the size of the pot because no. it's huge. Okay, so we kind of dried them. And I've seen um, lots of chefs on, um, on television and on Facebook. And there's a little bit of the choke sticking out here, so I'm just going to kind of... For the record, that's not the one I cut. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to open it up a little bit. But I've seen lots of... Um, Lots of people on Facebook everywhere doing their, their stuffing their artichokes, and this is the way they do it. They get a spoon and they try and put it in there. Okay. Well, I'm not that I'm not that good. So we're going to do it this way. We're going to put some olive oil or canola oil or whatever kind of oil you like in your breadcrumbs. We're going to make it a little bit. Um, grainier by doing this, just to moisten it a little bit. And again, whatever breadcrumbs you like, if you want plain breadcrumbs, I guess you could do that. But this already has seasoning, you know, yeah. salt and pepper and everything that we spoke about. And you can see the 
you can see it on um, Facebook. So it's almost the consistency of cl getting close to like a pie crust, just just moist enough to mm, okay. start getting it to form together. So I don't do it the way they do it with the spoon, okay? Because I, I don't want to be here all day. So this is how we're going to do it. And naturally, you have clean hands. Yes. And we're doing this, uh, trying to, and it doesn't have to be in every leaf. If you, there is such a thing as overstuffing it. And then when you get it, it's so firmly packed, you won't like the taste, okay? It just won't taste good. So you just want a little bit, because all you're going to do is uh, have a bite, a little bite, because there's not much to an artichoke. Okay. Uh -huh. So For those who don't know, one. the uh, artichoke is actually the flower. It's the blossom. Yeah, yeah, the blossom of the plant. And, you know, there's people that eat the leaves. Italians have recipes, and I think yeah. Spanish people have. I, I know that Italians have um, recipes for some of the leaves, parts of the leaves. I'm not sure what. It almost be like doing greens. No, they like bread it and fry it. And I, I think, I think that's where it comes from. I'm not sure that. Wow. I think they call it Cardonia. I might be totally wrong, but I, I never made it, so I don't know. I just yeah, because artichoke leaves are pretty uh, it's thistle -y. Kind of, It's kind of the stem, the inside part. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's very possible. So now you have to stuff one, and if we need a few little bit more uh, breadcrumbs, I'll, we'll do it. But I think this was two cups of breadcrumbs, and I think it's okay. I think it's going to be enough. But people put pine nuts, they put pine walnuts, so all kinds of stuff. I don't know about the raisin, that's a... Uh, no, they do. Is that like a dessert the raisins, artichoke? No, they put, it, they put it in the breadcrumbs and they put them in meatballs and they stuff roast with it. It's good. You know, it's just all different. All, whatever you like. Mm. Your own tastes. How about uh, some chopped up uh, pancetta? Uh, you could. You could, sure. When I'm stuffing um, uh, meat, I'll put pancetta, and I've done that before. But so here now we stuffed uh, an artichoke. We, we didn't put a whole lot in these artichokes. You know, just a few, really, it's just a couple of handfuls, right? Pretty much. And it's really not taking as long as it does when I normally do it. <laughs> I don't know why this is going fast. <laughs> The magic of the camera. I guess. Maybe we're more prepared. I don't know. But, um... So really just working the breadcrumb, this mixture down deep to poke the Not too deep. Don't pack it. Just kind of, you know, you don't want to pack it because uh, it gets dry and you want the liquid to kind of go in there and kind of moisten it up a little bit. So now, so two cups was really plenty, even though yeah. these were big artichokes. So we might be able to put a little bit more, just a little bit, and just put it on the top and, yeah, scrunch it in there. So it's, you know, it's a very hands-on kind of recipe. Mm -hmm. It's an old world recipe. We're going to change it up a little bit, so it's going to be good. And some of my friends have tasted it before. I, I don't know if they really liked it, but I hope when they see this on Facebook that they'll comment if and, and say the truth. <laughs> Truthful Those comments. Those artichokes. Truthful com you know, comments. So yours needs a little help here. I didn't want to pack it too tight, but apparently uh, you well, pack it see, pretty tight. Well, I'm not really packing it. Just kind of opening the leave and them and all in there. letting some get in there, and you don't want to do all of them because I've done them before where I overpacked it, and it was just like the cement raw. Mm. We don't want that. We want it to be uh, moist on the inside, and there really isn't. You know, I've seen where people bake them, and yeah, and I, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do an old world. You find that baking dries them out? No, the leaves. You know, the leaves will dry out. Easily, easily. Okay, I'm going to um, now. I'm going to crack two eggs, and 
we're going to make a topper here for this. And we're going to kind of seal it in. And it's, um, let's see how this goes. So this is how I do it, and it's not, I don't know if it's, it's just easier for me. And I try to, you know, just seal it up. That's all I'm trying to do is just to make sure that the breadcrumbs stay inside the artichoke. But I've seen where people do it without doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's just how my grandmother did it, so that's how I do it. I think she was a little more delicate than I'm not very delicate. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get it up done and into the pot. So, um, and it doesn't have to be around the sides. It's really the top that you want to, you know, cover. And these artichokes are big. Yeah. You need a big pot. Yeah. So two, two cups of uh, breadcrumbs, two large eggs. We added a little bit of cheese. The salt and pepper and all and of no that. And no Italian is, seasoning. No, no oregano, no Italian seasoning. To me, Italian seasoning is a bad, uh, bad word. Yeah, I don't like it in anything. Okay, I'm going to rinse my hands, and we're going to go to the stove. All right. Okay, so we're going to put the artichokes into the frying pan, and we're going to brown the tops. And I think I put a picture of that on Facebook so they can see. And it only takes a couple of minutes. And the point of this is just to seal just seal kinda, those tops so the, the stuffing yeah. doesn't come out. Yeah. I, you know, some people put them in the pot and they don't seal the top and it's fine. You know, you're going to balance the artichoke anyway. What you don't want to do is um, tip the artichoke over. You want to cook it so that it's kind of standing up. But I've done it a lot of times, and um, I never had a problem, even if they tip over. So, okay, so there's one. Now I assume that this one is okay. There's two. And these artichokes are big. I can't even grab it. Beautiful. So when you see that, it only takes a couple of minutes. Not very long at all. And you can make them darker or lighter, it doesn't really matter. It only takes a second to, to get the egg um, cooking. Darker or lighter, it doesn't matter. Okay, so there they are. So now we're going to go to the next step. And so far it's been very easy, right? Yes. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. Okay, so here we have a pot. And I chose I choose this pot every time because it's more shallow. It's kind of like a Dutch oven kind of pot. So it's shallow. And I feel like it gives me more control. So here I have um, a shallot, just because I had a shallot, so I'm using it. But you could use an onion, you could use nothing, you know, but this is how I do it. I have some garlic, and it's maybe a teaspoon of garlic. I have a little bit of parsley, and I have a trick with the parsley. And I'll tell you that, you know, people are always saying, oh, I don't want to put, I don't want to put any parsley, I have to buy a whole cut of parsley in order to have it um, to use for one one teaspoon. Well, I wash it and I uh, put it in the food processor, chop it up real good and put it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. And when I need it, I just take a chunk of that out, throw it in the pot or the recipe. You can put it in breadcrumbs, you can put it in anything. And how long does it uh, last in the freezer? Until mm, you defrost it. A year, maybe longer. This has been in there, I don't know, a few months couple months maybe. Okay, so now I've just sauteed the onion and the garlic. 
and I'm going to get a I'm going to put the artichokes in like this, and I'm going to try to fit them in here. But they're huge, so they are going to be on its on their sides. Okay, and I, I would really like them to stand up, but they're not going to. And then here's the stems that we saved before. I'm going to throw those in there. Okay, and I'm going to add some water. ready but I don't. And then I'm going to gently pour the water in because I'm going to try not to disturb the artichoke. And I'm only going to do it halfway up so I need a little bit more water. So probably about six cups of water total. Probably going to be about six cups of water. I I'm not good at measuring. I don't measure. And I'm going to try to tilt them to see if I can get it straight up here. I don't know. Let's see. No, they're going to tilt. It's fine. Okay. I'm going to turn the stove on. Put the lid on a little bit. Um, I'm going to tilt it a little bit so that the foam, they're going to foam up. And as they come to a boil, I'm going to lower it to medium and just let it cook just like this with the lid tilted. And I don't know, depends on the artichoke, so I don't know how long it's going to cook. But when it's three quarters of the way cooked, we're going to add some rice to the pot. So in, 40, in about 40 minutes, we'll come back and check this. Uh -huh. And we want it boiling gently. We don't want it full blast boil. And we'll check it as soon as it starts boiling, I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> okay, so now it's starting to foam up, so I'm going to lower the temperature because I don't want that real heavy boil. I just want it to be on medium heat, maybe a little bit less than medium, and then tilt the lid. And we're going to leave it there until the artichokes are cooked. And we're going to test it with a meat fork. And before they're cooked, we'll add a little bit of salt to the water. We'll taste the water that's in there. And then we'll add a cup of rice, and you'll have artichokes and rice. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. And I'm just moving it around a little bit. And I feel like I should, um, or I put the salt on the artichoke, I kind of want to bathe it a little bit. And I'm going to turn up the temperature so that it's boiling a little bit faster. And I think there's enough water in here for this cup of rice. And I'm pouring it in between the artichokes. And I put a teaspoon, just a teaspoon of salt in there. And I, I don't know how much more we should put. But I'm not, um, not really precise on the measuring. This is kind of old world cooking. And you just kind of fly by the seat of your pants. Kind of mix it up a little bit so that the water is there. So that's all mixed up with no, the water. No, just regular white rice. Have you done different types of rices or? No, I never have. I'm just kind of stuck on the white rice. Uh, I kind of like that, but I'm sure if you put brown rice, it'd be delicious. So now that I'm cooking the rice, I'm I'm no longer cooking the uh, cooking it for the artichoke because the artichoke is tender, not the way not tender all the way, maybe about ninety percent. Okay, if I was going to eat the artichoke, I would have made it cook another 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. So, this last 5 or 10 minutes, I have the rice in there. So, I'm going to lower the heat, and it's going to take a little bit longer to cook. But, what I really want to do is put the lid on all the way. So, as soon as, um, you know, when you cook rice, you kind of steam it, right? Mm -hmm. You put it on simmer, and you steam it. So, now it's on simmer, and we're going to steam it kind of making steamed rice, but it's actually when you tasted the broth, it's kind of like artichoke soup, mm -hmm. really, that broth. It's good. Yeah. You just need to add a little bit of salt. Uh, you could add pepper if you want to put pepper. Um, and just let it cook for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, right? How long is steamed rice going to take? Yeah, it's good. It's a little, I don't know if you want to look at that, but it's a very low simmer kind of boil, okay? 
So we're just gonna let it cook, put the lid on it, walk away for, for, from it for five or six minutes. Should be done in 10 minutes. Oh. And can they see the artichoke? Can't, they can't see it this way. You have to eat it this way. Have to eat it that way. All right, so Mary, we have this beautiful dish, this nice artichoke. And I'm used to, you know, just pull a leaf off, you dip it in your sauce, and you pull it off your teeth, and that's it. How do you eat this? The same way. Okay. You're going to pull the leaves off and take a bite, just like you normally would. But it is going to be a juicy, messy uh, dish. But I think it'll be worth it. That's good. That's very now, this good. is your first stuffed artichoke ever, this right? This is my first stuffed artichoke. So you're the taster. Because people on Facebook cannot, they can't taste it. So they can only take your word for it and tell the truth. It's good. It's good, huh? Very good. <laughs> very good. So if you're used to this dipping in mayonnaise, uh, you need to give this recipe a try. Very tender, very moist, has a nice, um, just has a really good flavor. And let's go ahead and taste some of this rice here. Mmm, that's really good. And I can see why we saved those little bits of the stock. Yeah, it's good. It's good eating. Very good. Well, Mary, thank you for teaching me this. I know well, how a great. I want to see now when you doing. make them. Yeah. When you make them, I want to see how it comes out. You're going to put it on Facebook. Yeah, you're going to be uh, probably just. That's not how you do it. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's going to be good. It has good ingredients. You can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's really not a hard thing to make. It looks harder than it is. You know. Yeah. No, that is good. That is good. So, so this is what we made today. We made stuffed artichoke, Sicilian style. Um, basically, the artichoke itself was stuffed the way my grandmother did. And my mother-in-law used to put rice. You mm -hmm. know, you can just boil artichokes and throw them in the pot and use that water to put rice in. So we kind of combined two recipes, my very own recipe, basically. Um, so what you're saying is if I, if I went to Sicily right now and ordered a stuffed artichoke, it may look different. I don't know. I never ordered one there, but I don't know if they do a stuffed artichoke. How, you know, how much different could it be? You know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think it's. Uh, I mean, the ingredients are very simple. This is definitely something anybody could do at their house. Yeah. No special ingredients. No special equipment. Mm -hmm. You know, simple old world food. Yep. Awesome. Now, are you going to have more recipes? How do we? Yeah, we're going to do a few more videos. Okay. We're going to do pasta with the clams, and we're going to do pasta with eggplant, and maybe uh, a dessert. Maybe we'll do a Sicilian cake, you know, an mm -hmm. almond cake. Very simple recipes, no special equipment, no crazy ingredients. Um, pasta with the clams, we'll use canned clams. It'll be to die for. It'll be good. So we're going to do that, and I hope everyone follows uh, my page. Uh, Mary's Village uh, style and you'll get some more recipes and we'll communicate back and forth please comment on the recipe on Facebook and it's always also going to be posted on the Friends of Isola Della Femini website uh, Friends of Isola Della Femini dot org um, come and join us we'll have fun and if you like to cook and you have a great recipe let me know and if you're in the area Maybe we could meet up and put your recipe on. Awesome. And yeah. you're going to have other people, you're going to have variety of... We're going to have some guest, guest chefs. chefs. All right. Maybe some surprise guest <laughs> chefs. <laughs> so, you know, people think they have really good recipes, so yeah. we'll let them come and we'll make it with them and see how it goes. Awesome. You know, maybe we'll like it and maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll see. And this is not fake, right? You really no, like th it. This is, this is, this is really good. You're not good. just saying it because no, I'm sitting no, here. No, no, no. Okay, so you really are. The rice eat is this. tender. It has good flavor. The artichokes, you know, have you. It adds flavor, but you don't lose the flavor of the artichoke. A lot of times, I think when people make dishes, 
the sauces take away from what they threw it on. That's what happens with barbecue. You can't yeah. taste the barbecue, you're right. in the sauce. So yeah. you still get the flavor of the artichoke and it's just... You know, Delicate and good, yummy, right? Yeah, it's a nice flowery taste, so it's uh, it's good. Good, Very good. okay. So. Thanks for all your help today. Well, thank it you. Was great. That was okay. fun. <laughs>